urine, hot sauce, and hand sanitizer. These are far from three things you would think that adults would try to feed a child and try to feed an innocent child and say that it's edible. The hot sauce is, but the hand sanitizer and the urine is not. And yet the four-year-old boy who was about to be five in a month died of humiliation the day this boy died he's in the back seat of a car with his stepmother in the front and presumably his father in the passenger seat one or the other on camera the day he died begging for food begging for bread within hours he's taken into the hospital in a bad state and when they checked the child out because he was rushed there by his father they immediately saw bruises on him and signs that the boy was being starved for those of you who actively uh, uh, abuse children why are you so naive as to think that these medical professions professionals aren't gonna catch you in your nonsense you think they gonna jump in your face and say oh you've been abusing this child and we gonna do la 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 to give you time to escape no they're gonna keep a, a poker face be professional and somebody's back calling the cops okay let's not let's not get this twisted you really thought that you could just keep abusing this child so to give some context because i read this article apparently the boy must have been living with his father and stepmother full time his solution for desperation to be able to eat was that he was sneaking out of his room at night to get food when the stepmother noticed it she put locks on every one of the cabinets so that that boy couldn't open the cabinets and get something to eat now her lawyer is arguing for mercy saying that because she's currently nursing a child presumably her child that she had with this little boy's father that she should get mercy they're waiting to have his trial and saying there's evidence that he also abused his own son a cousin came to court or a sibling to give a uh, impact speech on the mother's by biological mother's behalf. No offense, but it's, I would want to wonder where she was when this was happening. It's known that Child Protective Services got involved. But no one ever took the child away from the stepmother and the father. Let's be honest, people with Child Protective Services, they mean well, they're overworked, they're this, even when the signs are there. You chose that career, you need to start doing your job, and that's going to get me in some trouble with people, but whatever. How do you decide to lock cabinets and lock a child down in their room at night so that they can't move around? What if, Was there a bathroom in his room? What if he had to go to the bathroom? See, the thing about it is, is that I understand why people don't want to marry people uh, with kids. And the reason that I understand that's going to sound cruel. If you call yourself loving somebody and your child is not the full package, that person ain't for you. And for people who are single parents who choose to never get married, I understand why y'all doing it now. Because of sick stuff like this. I'm sorry, this, this article does not give enough context on the uh, biological mother who sent somebody on her behalf to speak on her behalf. Did she just not show up to, to court because she wanted to kill the woman for what she did to her child? Or did she just not show up because she's also liable for some things in the past and just do not uh, want any condemnation? Which I have no condemnation for her because by all accounts, the abuse came from the, the father and the stepmother. And this woman, they even recovered text messages of her admitting to her own mother that she starved her stepson. But I want leniency. I want, I, 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 
I shouldn't have to go to prison. It's his dad's fault, the, the dude. You can't change those text messages with you telling your mom that you starved your stepson. Which means you willfully participated in hurting this child. It's too many alternatives for y'all out here. Now, why are y'all doing this? Why was that boy not given back to his mother? See, now that I'm, I'm, I'm getting over that part, here's the thing. If I ever had babies, which I'm not a mother, and my husband died tomorrow, I would never get married until after that child is old enough to get out of the house. I can't see myself ever trusting anybody around some a child that I created under someone else's bloodline. Now, again, this is me. This is a controversial thing. And I know some people, what you supposed to just sit up and not fall in love. Y'all live a fairy tale. Snap out of your fairy tale. Because in reality, while you're in love and blissfully in love and you found somebody that's A, B, C, and D, everyone's not step parent material. Take what I say on a case by case basis. If it don't apply, let it fly. Sometimes you can see that someone resents someone else's child. And in other instances, they can put up such a good face. You can think your kid is in a good place and they're not. This little boy is the innocent in this and he's died three. I'm going to think it was like three years ago. He should be like nine or 10 years old right now enjoying his life, I would think. Okay, he was four or five, six, no, okay, seven. That boy should be about seven and enjoying his life. Do you understand to die at four years old and know you, that your body is breaking down like that is devastating? Because you know that's what it is. And when they showed a picture of the pantry, there was more than enough food in the house to feed this child. Quit acting like this is not a cautionary tale of being careful who you marry. And also being careful who you choose to sire children with. Because I can imagine that this boy's biological mother couldn't have fathomed that her own either ex-boyfriend or ex-husband would do this to their own child. But he did. Now that they've sentenced her, they're going after him as well. I just don't have too much to say about this. I can tell you this. Y'all need to be careful who you lie with. Because when you're not careful, sometimes, unfortunately, sick stuff like this is going to happen.